This is the new Axis A8207VE. This is the new intercom from Axis Communications. And today's demo is going to show a full solution and how this can be integrated into a system. So this intercom has a 6 megapixel camera, two-way audio capability, it has indication lights, it has an illuminated dial pad and call button, an induction loop, and a built-in card reader that's open format. On the back of the device, here are some key features. It is a PoE device, it has IOs and relays, it has an HDMI out. It supports OSDP, RS-45, and WGAND. So the card reader can be integrated into a third-party access control system and just act as a dumb reader. Here are the card formats that are currently supported. It can integrate into the access access control panel through Vapix commands. But one of the unique features is this HDMI port. So the HDMI port can be utilized to display the camera's image on a screen that's inside the facility. So before employees leave the facility, they can actually look at the screen and check to see what's going on outside. So there's the camera, and on the back, this is not obviously how you would install it, but this is just demonstration to show that HDMI out is going directly to this screen. So let's see this thing work a little bit. We have first the card reader, so this is a MyFair card. There we go, I have a pin, and now the door is unlocked. So there's your access control. One of the great features of this new intercom is how easy it is to have a call into a SIP answering station, such as these Grandstream phones. This is the GXV3370 with a Android tablet screen. This is a great answering station that is just PoE. So you just tie the two devices together for a peer-to-peer -peer call. And let's see how that works. So we press this button here, and we're going to have this device call this answering station here. It's going to give us a preview of who's calling. You can answer. You can hit the keypad. Welcome. The door is now open. Program a DTMF tone and release the door. So let's hang this up. One of the great features of the new interface is how easy it is to program some failover functionality. So right here, I've created a front office group. And if I go under contacts, uh, I can go to edit the call group, edit front office, and you can see I can have it call the first line, and then I can have it fall back and call the second line. So that comes back to having these two phones here, where I have two Grandstream phones. Now I'm gonna let this phone just ring. So I'm gonna press the button again. It's gonna ring. And then it's gonna fail over after a few number of seconds to this phone. So now I can pick up this phone as the backup phone, and same thing. Hit the DTMF tone, and the door has now been released. And you're hearing, welcome, the door is now open, which is a pre-recorded message that I've uploaded to the intercom to play based upon the I.O. being triggered. Now this is a speaker built into the intercom, so one of the nice features of this intercom is it does have shock detection. So if someone comes up and tries to rip this off the wall or hits it. So based upon shock being detected or someone tried to rip this off the wall, it can play an audio clip or it can trip an alert through the video management software and you can get an alert that someone is trying to tamper with your device. But you can also have this intercom call into a video management software, such as Milestone, Genetech, Exact Vision, top software providers out there, including Access Camera Station, which is what we're showing here. So when I press this button, just going to press the call button, you'll see it's going to call into the VMS. But before I do this, I'm going to minimize this right here. And you can see there's a pop-up right here, which I can answer. I can have two-way audio capability, and I can open the door 
and trigger it to release. So just to reiterate, this is the new A8207-VE video intercom from Axis. Key features, pin pad, call button, induction loop, built-in card reader, HDMI out, can integrate into Axis, Axis control, or third-party Axis control systems, can call into video management softwares, can call to SIP phones, and of course it has that nice HDMI out feature right there. Any questions, just let me know.